In this video, we're going to take a look at the autocomplete widget that you can use in jQuery. Now, many modern websites today put in suggestions when you begin typing in a text box. You've all seen that. So if you go to a website and you go to a text box and you start typing in something, which will give you suggestions that you can go ahead and select. And a lot of those websites are actually using this very widget to do that because it provides a very nice dropdown, which will give the user choices to select. And so that's what we're going to do again in this video. Now you can see here, I've in our sidebar over here, I've created a text box and I just wrapped it around a div and I gave that an ID of test. We're gonna use the same CSS that I used in the last video, by the way. And all I did was just add some margin, uh, 10 pixels around the text box. So it's not crunched right against the corner here. And again, I actually used that in the last video for the form. And then of course I've added a little label here for cities, so we want the user to put in the names of cities. And then of course when they do that, we're gonna give them suggestions. Of course we don't have that done yet because we need to add the jQuery. And you can see right here I've added a text box. And you will remember from the HTML videos, we just use the input element tag, and then we just define the type as text, and that gives us our nice text box. Now what we wanna do is go ahead and add the jQuery. But before we do that, let's go ahead and add an ID to our text box so we can go ahead and grab this in our jQuery code. And we'll just call this text box. Okay, so let's go down to our jQuery code now and we'll go ahead and grab our ID really quickly here. And then the function that we call in jQuery is autocomplete. Now in previous videos, that was all we needed, right? We just needed the function, but we actually have to add the values. That is what we want displayed when the user starts typing in various cities. And to do that, we use the source property. And of course we need our squiggly lines, and then we just type in source. Then we need brackets, and inside these brackets is where we place our values, and we put these in quotes. So let's go ahead and specify Dallas, that's going to be our first city, and then we separate each value by a comma. And let's just go ahead and put in one more city here that starts with a D. And let's go ahead and pick uh, Detroit. And let's go ahead and put in one more city. Let's put in New York. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and let's see if it works. So we'll refresh our page over here. And let's type in D. And there you can see we get Dallas and Detroit. Take a look at that. And you can select one of these. Now let's go ahead and type in New York or an N. There you see, look, we get New York. So that's how the autocomplete works. Now you can go ahead and put in a lot more cities if you want to test this out, but I think you get the idea how this works. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.